and about a local officer accused of using police equipment to stalk his estranged wife. Now, we first brought you the story on Channel 11 News at 5, but news since then, Channel 11's Ryan Houston spoke to people on both sides of these accusations to find out exactly what happened. Our cameras were rolling as Allegheny Township Police brought former officer Michael McSherry to the district court in handcuffs. Well, it's been a difficult situation. I mean, there's there's bad people in all professions, unfortunately. Uh, law enforcement is no exception. Allegheny Township Police Chief Dwayne Fisher says two weeks ago they were called to Paulowina Drive for a domestic dispute between McSherry and his estranged wife. When they arrived, they were able to make contact with the caller, got her and her two minor children out of the house, and we were advised that the male was still inside in the bathroom with a firearm. Uh, he would not come out of the house at this time. After a brief standoff, McSherry turned himself in to police. Officers say he was then taken to Allegheny Valley Hospital for a mental health evaluation because he told his wife he was going to commit suicide. The only thing we really want to say at this time is that I'd like to, everyone to keep in mind there's two sides to every story. We're told Michael McSherry worked here at the New Kensington Police Department for three years. He left and then moved to Florida. And after moving back, we're told he was hired here by the Fraser Township Police. Chief Terry Coons tells me McSherry only worked for the department for a month and a half, but we are told he was very busy while working here. The criminal complaint accuses McSherry of using police technology 85 times to track his wife and her family's cars, putting a GPS in his wife's car, using the nanny camera to record her movements, and threatening her in person and through social media. It's good when we can identify people that are doing things they're not supposed to and get them out of those positions to make sure that the faith that the public has in us is well placed. This criminal complaint mentions that police knew he had mental health issues in the past. The big question we have tonight is, how is it that someone with mental health issues was allowed to carry a gun and a badge? We'll keep working to find that answer. Ryan Houston, Channel 11 News.